Welcome to the first part of our map editor tutorials, where we'll be showing you how to create a small skirmish map, just perfectly bite-sized for a small map. We'll be showing the absolute basics and keep focusing on the most important parts, what you need to think of and about when you create your very first map. After that, it's just feel free to go for the more, more advanced versions, but together we'll be keeping basic. So the map editor is right here and it opens up to a whole new playing field. Now I can tell that this map is already possibly slightly too big, but we'll create a new one easily by going up to file and creating a new one. Let's make that one small. Let's call it map editor tutorial confirm and it's this is a handy size to work with. I'll show you a bit about the interface. Up in files, you have all the basic ones. New, load, save, save as, etc. Some of them will return to, like upload to mod.io, but that's for later. Now there's also shortcuts. And everyone loves a good shortcut. When it comes to edit, the most usually the ones I usually use, is undo or redo. Practical, when you sort of change your mind halfway through a project. And Control Z is easy to remember. Down here is Pad and Crop. That's for adding or removing, making your map bigger or smaller. It's handy when you sort of start out big, but think, maybe I don't really have the time. Or you change your mind and your project just expands. It's a nice way instead of just creating an entirely new one. When it comes to view, you can just click on any of the boxes, like say minimap if you don't want it back in the corner. Personally, I like it there. It's nice, it creates an overview, especially when you're working on a bigger map. Export minimap, that's something we'll also return to until the last installment of this little playlist. Map settings, and here's a handy one, save and play. Now, let's not save and play right just yet. We don't have anything yet, but when you do, when your map starts to take shape, you can play test it right through here. So let's go through the draw tools. These are the ones you'll be using the absolute most. We have move. It's self-explanatory. You can place objects, and this opens up a whole new list of handy things. Everything from settlements to permanent buffs to resource generators can be found in this list. For instance, hostiles, another thing we'll return to. Merchants, troop sources, pickups, artifacts, vision, teleportation, objectives, and utility. Some of these we won't be using, and some we will. Each had their own place, and if you're creating an advanced map with many story options, you'll probably use most of them during a map. Roads have their own place in this little list. The same thing as draw terrain heights, a practical, practical thing. And you notice that this up here gives variations. You can, for instance, use mirroring, but that's for an advanced lesson. Eyedropper and erase together with draw is things I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with. Brush size makes it easier to draw large portions of a map at the same time. We have water in various, various depths and also theme decorations. And this is something that changes if you use draw terrain theme then the everything on this list will change. It's handy for creating story purposes, but also creating a theme for your map. Non-theme decorations are things that won't be changed by the draw terrain theme feature. Things like bones, dead bodies, armored debris, and campfire stay the same. The train, th the train themes are based on our factions, Arleon, Loth, Baria and Rana, each their own unique 
biome, let's say, or theme that you can paint with. We recommend fooling around with it a bit and trying different styles. Whatever suits your map the best. Dot drain type is also handy when you have a certain theme in mind. Perhaps your map is mostly played out in the desert. Well, this is the option for you. And then there's the special effects. Things like fireflies, fogs, smoke pillars or wildfires can help your map tell a story. But this is it. We hope that you find this, our little interface overview, nicely self-explanatory. But we recommend looking around a bit on your own. Perhaps you can discover a way to work that fits your playstyle.